the one word that comes to my mind when I think of Kayla Harrison is dominant. Badass. Yeah, it's just in every sense of the word. Here's the armbar. Here comes the armbar attempt. Kayla Harrison. There oh. it is, and there's the tap. Kayla Harrison undefeated since she came to mixed martial arts and really just tearing through the competition. I mean, not just winning fights, but barely being tested, to be honest with you. She's an absolute dominant force who it sometimes looks like she's just waiting for the right moment to do what she wants to do. There it is. Explosive wow. power forward. Beautiful double. If you win an Olympic gold medal in any sport, but especially in a combat sport, that is an incredible accomplishment in itself. Now to do that twice, that puts you on a different level than almost anybody out there. It's an incredible, incredible feat. But then to throw yourself into a different sport, where of course that background is gonna be helpful, you cannot understate how many different things you gotta learn in mixed martial arts. And then to take that into mixed martial arts and to dominate that as well, you cannot take away from what she's accomplished. You top of the is Kayla Harrison's first round submission headed to another PFL championship fight. If all you've seen is Larissa Pacheco's UFC run, you, you haven't seen anything. Larissa Pacheco right now is on a run of five straight first round knockouts. Think about that. In any division, much less the women's division, it's incredible. If you want to know how good Larissa Pacheco is, just talk to Kayla Harrison. Before the season even starts, she said, I know that I'm the best athlete in this division, and I know she's the second best athlete, and I know we're going to meet in the finals. And here we are. Oh, that was an outstanding left hook. White uppercuts from Larissa Pacheco, and another first round finish. It is very difficult right now to pick against Kayla Harrison. What I believe you're going to have to do is catch her. What can Larissa Pacheco do? She can catch you. Pacheco did exactly what she had to do. She lost twice to Kayla Harrison. At that moment in time, no one would have ever wanted to see this third fight again. Now all of a sudden though, you just don't feel like it's the same Larissa Pacheco. She's matured mentally. You feel like the confidence is gonna be much higher than it was before. And also that familiarity of if she can defend some of those takedowns, if she can extend this fight, if she can put Kayla Harrison in some adversarial moments, there is a long history in combat sports where a once dominant champion all of a sudden looks slightly uncomfortable. It gets real interesting. I think getting a third shot at her may be even a better opportunity for Larissa Pacheco than she had the first two times around.